Say, hold up. I'll be in the clutch. I'll be, I'll be in the clutch. Hold up. Hold up. Let's do Yo. it. We about to pop that fluid. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Pop it Don't hate. Hey. Hey. I just see podcast 48. Uh, 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 <laughs> Let's go. Uh, 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 like an eight. Uh, 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 I go gorilla. Uh, 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 looking like vanilla. Uh, 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 like vanilla. Uh, 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 might scare like thriller. Uh, 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 <laughs> might watch a fight on Triller. Uh, 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 I'm trying to be a billionaire. Ah, they uh, billionaire. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Anywho. Are we good? Yeah, Are we, we good. live? Yeah, we, we, we live we a little bit. Live? We real? No. Is our yeah. audio on? Can you hear us? Okay, we bet. I was about to say, man, that was my best little bars right there. Man. He said that was, was my best little bars. He did, he did hit that, though. He, he said, like, like, vanilla. like vanilla. I like, like it. Vanilla. Yeah. But now, uh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Again, like I said in the raps, uh, yep. I2C podcast episode number 48. <laughs> uh, yes, back sir. to you guys with a chill, cool vibe podcast yeah. with the homies. Joints yep, yep, yep. together the cool breeze. I2C podcast. Yep. The yes, coolest sir. of them all. Yes, so how y'all sir. feeling, man? Everybody good. energy. What we Great. Good. I'm feeling good, good, man. No issues, no I problems. Mean, no issues at all. It was hot yep. as shit today. And it I was, outside. bro. Outside. No more day. rain all of Sorry a sudden. Thank God. But yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Head was beaming Houston, before I got yes. here. Houston be on that. Man, it's raining too much. Man, it's hot as hell. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. you, you yeah, go, you know, you, you never get. We can't no, get no in between. Never. You can't get no San Diego. The no. range is crazy. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, the range is absolutely insane. But you know what? Hey, I feel like we should have the strongest immune system in the country. You ain't lying. We deal with cold, hot, yep. within a matter of the same day. <laughs> exactly. And then we can go from rain to sunny. And I'm already hearing people talking about mosquitoes. Oh, it's supposed to be bad this year. It's like mosquitoes must have knew we weren't outside around this time the, last year. Oh, man. They, like, they oh, y'all, y'all in the butt this year? I bet. Nah, boys, yeah. been in the, boys been in the house getting slow roasting and, yep. and all mm-hmm. that. Exactly. Oh, they, they getting ready to the tell mosquitoes so. like, okay, all right, play boy. We'll know, be back. Rubbing we'll their be hands. Back, yeah. Next year. When y'all fat and plump. <laughs> exactly, see? <laughs> That's, ex- <Lots> of blood. <laughs> That's exactly what oh, happened. Because yeah. no one really got attacked by mosquitoes because we nope. was all in the house. I've been greasing well, up. supposedly yep. in the house. I didn't yeah, you had a couple little bad apples still. Didn't want to follow the guidelines. <laughs> you, you were a bad apple. You was know. I a bad apple? You had a party in the middle of COVID. You did. That you went to. Doesn't matter. It wasn't oh, my party. <laughs> he said it wasn't, it wasn't my party. Okay. Yeah. All right. It was your okay. party, though. All right. All right. If I, if I, I wouldn't have hunted with you I got a question. If, if I wouldn't have went, would you have still thrown it? Uh, yeah, I already it's paid for it. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And it was like I 10 people win. in the house. If I was still, you know, of course, like like y'all still. It was like, literally 10 people yeah, in the house. I wouldn't have gone. I think it was a pretty safe COVID party. I took the guy line seriously, bro. Like, because it scared me. Didn't you go to a party? No, this was after. After what? COVID? Oh, and yeah. And the first time I did, <laughs> guess what happened? I got COVID. So, yeah. Ironic. Exactly. Damn. The one little time. Crazy. Yeah. But have we, y'all we, got y'all shots? Yeah. I'm no, pretty I sure I got COVID Mm-mm. before everybody got COVID. Oh, uh, no t- yeah. yeah. I mean, like last yeah. year, mm-hmm. man. That was December. You worse. No, but yeah. remember, I was like sick, sick too. December mm-hmm. to like January. You probably had it. Mm-hmm. Remember, I was sick too. Yeah. Because it was I in my voice that. when I called you. Yeah. And you was like, like, I feel like every, at this point, everybody at least had it. And it all depends on your immune system. If mm-hmm. it struck you okay, if it struck you bad. It I ain't going to lie. Because it, if it's one of them airborne things, like they were saying, you can't, yeah. like, you can't accept yeah. that. You know that, that, that stomach bug mm-hmm. that people get that be airborne mm-hmm. is like no way to avoid that. Basically. Like, unless the person's just not. Mm-hmm. Unless you're just completely yeah. away, but quarantined in like yeah, a bubble like, house. Yeah. yeah, that's the only way. Because I, I hate them, bro. I had just, just had my up. son, and then I had COVID. And I was like, damn. And then, Man, bro, like a month after that, that's when COVID was like ramping up. Oh no, up. it's a, it's COVID. We yeah. gotta lock up everything. And I was like, I'm so glad I had my son before this. Steve, Steve was <laughs> yeah. sick. Like, I bet you wondered how I got this way. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. BET movie. Let me Classic. show you. <laughs> I'm laying in the cover. I Let me show you like how this. I got here. Yep. Bet you wonder how I got this way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, hopefully, I mean, everybody good out there. If you feel like you want to get the um, the vaccination, get it. Right. If you don't, you got the right to. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's up time, to you. Yeah. But do whatever you think is going to be important to you in your life. And mm-hmm. yeah, uh, stay safe regardless, nonetheless. Because right. even with or without it, I think you, you still can catch it. Yeah, yeah. So that doesn't mean be careless. Yeah. Um, they giving prizes out now, I see. Like every week, every Throwing week. Throwing the Tesla, and I'm, I'm yeah. there. Oh, for yeah. real? Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, so and so, we'll give you this. We'll give you that. I so heard and jobs so are paying for, people for too. Jobs, yeah. To get vaccinated. I remember car dealerships saying, <laughs> yeah, it's um, incentives to waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, y'all. Just I thought really, I waited pretty good, though. You know, I thought. Yeah. yeah. I'm just waiting for the third arms to start growing out. 
Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, Lord <laughs> I was, start, I was kind of lit though. Hey, you know what? I'm the type. If I were to get it, I'll ask like, "Can I be? A, can I be a, a street shark? Like, and I'll probably end up scaring people. So I got you, bro. I'm that type of person. What I you know that. about street sharks? Oh boy, that's a classic. That's Yo. people sleep on street sharks. Shark what do y'all man. know about street sharks? Bro, bro. I know literally nothing. Nothing. Same here. Yeah, it was literally street? like, bro, it was like one of them uh, cartoons that used to come on. You in the remember morning. back in the day, street sharks? I gotta see it. You gotta look at a picture. I probably got a squad. If you know. Put in the comments, bro. Street shot. It don't last. I think one. Hell is that, yeah, bro? No, when I got my shot, I was like, okay. So I guess they were like, you just wait right here for fifteen minutes. And I was like, oh, yeah, so we're waiting everybody. for people to turn into zombies. See, and the dude, oh, was like, the you dude know my bitch, yeah, street shot. Oh, yeah. I remember that, boy. That was the. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the ish, bro. I forgot. I did not. Anyway, Street Sharks, yeah, it, it was it dope hit, back in the day, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, after I seen what it was. Maybe want to be You a know, shark. the cartoon, you know, how they transformed was, you know, it was like an injection. I forgot the name of it. I just completely forgot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so all I remember was Street Sharks. But yeah, I brought up that zombie comment, and the, one of the dudes, he was he just bust out laughing. See, I would be like that. The other lady was just like, just, you can go try. Oh, you said it. <laughs> See, you said it there. <laughs> yeah. I would, I, I, right I would there. do it. I really would. Really because I like, thought it was. Because I was like, so I guess we're just waiting for uh, somebody to turn into a zombie. That's what. Yeah, what happened? Why do you, you gotta do? wait? Yeah, that's the thing. What exactly. They waiting for some kind of weird reaction. So I'm like, gonna analyze your zombie. behavior. They're gonna, they're gonna run you to Area 51 or wherever the new Man. location is. Mm-hmm. No, they're gonna, they're gonna put you in the Astrodome. That's what. That's what. And then I told. That's what say. What's going on in the Astrodome? No one knows. What weird things? I don't know. For they, those who don't know, the about, Astrodome is uh, where the Astros used to play yep. at many, many years ago. And then uh, I believe that's where they used to have the MLK Battle of the Bands for a while. Yeah. And then they, they shut it down. They moved everything they built, to Reliant at the time. Yep. Yeah, they was building uh, Reliant Stadium. So we the last time they really used it was when Katrina happened. Yep. And they had like, all the yeah. New Orleans refugees come yeah. over yeah. here. I wonder if it mm. looks like how I Am Legend. Like, yeah, it's all right. Abandoned like, in his grass. I want to say they took, grass, they took the chairs out. Yeah, yeah, I like, believe they, yeah. They, they, they took the chairs out. I mean, it's a huge stadium. It probably looks like the stadium on Call of Duty. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you guys know stadium, yeah, <laughs> Verdance, the little uh, stadium like that where it's just open yeah. and barren. But right. I, I want to know uh, what's what's going on. I'm in interested, there, and they, I miss the every few years they 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 bring it up on the news. Oh, our plans. I'm like, well, I've been saying this for like 15 years. I think they had a poll like, about what yeah, people think I, we should do. Yeah. yeah, should we tear it down or should we? I don't think they should tear it down. I don't think you should tear it down. I thought it was supposed to be like a. I would uh, renovate it, do something with it. I would do like a museum could, or something. Yeah, a museum or that would be cool. It'd be dope if we had a theme park, but I mean, uh, yeah, we, know, we, could, we could use that. You know. I mean, we can. I mean, it's where Astro was, was is still dirt. It's, it's like, it ain't, so depressing. Yeah, it's still, it's not man. like they couldn't drive on on sixteen. You just gotta hold back your tears. Bro, like, I used to work at that lot, that David Chevrolet right there. Yeah, I used to work at that lot for uh, I fixed dents there, so like I work on that outside lot, the green area, and like the the outside part is actually where people used to park for Astroworld sometimes. It's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. It's really crazy. So, like, I'll be working in that area and i look over and just see nothing. Be like, Dang. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> darkness. The time. Exactly. I was 14 yeah. when they took it away. I'm like, man, this is supposed to be where I'm my, my, but my team. But they weren't making as much money. Bro, yeah. before we got to high exactly. school, too, man, we wasn't able to actually Enjoy do Astroworld mm-hmm. like we yeah. planned or wanted to. I remember my older uh, cousins, my aunts and stuff, even my all my uncle, all the uncles and my mom, they worked there as, as like kids and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, bro, we couldn't have that. Then the the spot turned to AMC 30 or the movie theater. Yeah, that AMC was the new 30, spot. Yeah. Or was it AMC 16, the one by uh, Meyerland Walmart? I mean, yeah. The, it was a movie theater over there by Meyerland. Mm. That was infamous. It did. Used to be they took it away. Crazy right? as hell. Yeah. That, mm-hmm. yeah. See, I don't know. Yeah, that, I'm saying AMC 16. That, long, like, early in my year. that, yeah. that mug, yeah. yeah, that was that was the spot. Boys go. Not even watching the movie, just parking lot pimp. I wasn't even old enough either. Was. Was. <laughs> That's literally what it was. So yeah. all the all the I don't know. It just seemed like they could do a lot, they even really though it was could, a lot man. that was going on. It's like you could still just like the whole um, Galveston uh, MLK day and stuff when they used to go to the um, mm. the beach. Mm-hmm. The the Kappa, the Kappa, yeah. Oh, like, I never yeah. had the chance to experience. I never that had, but I've seen a lot of videos. Yeah, and oh that, my god! Yeah, yeah it, VHS that was, videos, yeah, VHS videos that, that was, they converted. That was a time. You got to put in your age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. Brandon, you got a lot of time, man. How you? Why you find that? I mean, I a quarantine, bro. I'm about to start calling you Uncle B. <laughs> Uncle B. <laughs> Uncle B. Hey, quarantine, bro. YouTube. You, you be in some places you think you never be. I'm like, bro, what is this? 
That like, is true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is true. Just the browsing. Yeah, and yeah browsing. I started yeah. finding yeah. random hobbies during quarantine. Yeah. Man. Yep. <laughs> You ain't got nothing else to do. Really, for real. You ain't got nothing else to do. Hopefully, we never have to experience that again. Hopefully not. Man. We kind of get the night. Uh, I don't know. It kind of gave me a, a, a an idea of like when we used to read the Bible and they used to talk about the plague. I, yeah, like yeah. I really felt like um, that was the end, it. Was the end of days. Just an imagine, saying. imagine it where you couldn't. Yeah. It was no cure. Yeah. Then technology wasn't even where it is now. It's yeah, like it, it, something be, going on. You don't even. It'd know. be even worse. So. And they'd yeah. be like, "You gotta pray to the gods." Um, Pray to the gods. Pray to the gods. <laughs> Pray to the gods. What ails you, son? Why are you not praying to the gods? You mustn't you? pray. <laughs> Lord Odin will not Thor, be forgiven. Thor of this. is punishing us <laughs> for <laughs> not. <laughs> Loki, the Rat- trickster. Ragnarok. We must, make me we must go. Now, we God. must go slay a deer or Ragnarok give up a sacrifice. Right? <laughs> right. I need you to calm down. <laughs> I low key play to the old. I had a Lord. moment where I was like, man, I wish I was like a. <laughs> the warrior for a uh, second, just for a second. Nah, they just like, like, I wish I, you know what I'm saying. Like, only, only time I want to be one is when they on at the at the feast table eating that, that drinking, yeah, that ale. drinking that ale. Nah, not even drinking the ale. You know when they get the big turkey leg, just just grabbing you know, and start eating it. It's the way they eat it, just make it look so good. No, let's like, man, feast. Let me sit at that we feast as a king. Like, I'm <laughs> telling you, that ale look like it's it's fire. <laughs> That's crazy. That man. ale they was drinking gotta be fire. Oh, I don't I'm know sure if it was is. like apple juice or something, but then <laughs> no, it, it looked it delicious. Wasn't apple like, juice. They drink it Everything like Everything at that table looked delicious to me. Yeah. 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 They over they overdo it. They like I'ma eat eat. And yeah. I'm drink, drink. Mm, man, they had no stove or nothing. They, look they, at the they meal. was cooking. Had some fresh grapes. They they was eating, everybody bro. at that table getting drunk drunk too. And that's yep. the thing. Everything right. was fresh though. Like, they didn't mm-hmm. care about no They processed or nothing. Yeah, no, everybody ate. Everybody in there slumped. Facts. Now we feast. <laughs> Wake Facts. up and they all yeah. in different tents and shit. Who are you? What ails you, woman? <laughs> Get up. Thou no, mysterious knight. Just take a woman. Come, on, come, come here, woman. woman. Say, they just grab a woman. Just grab a come woman. Come on. They let the little noise. They got these long like, ass skirts. <laughs> oh, no. They not going to put Get up no fight. <laughs> no, of course not. They wow. knew better. Hello, <laughs> boy. They knew better. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole yeah. The Vikings are canceled. Yeah. <laughs> The Vikings are canceling. Oh We're canceling the Vikings. Oh, bro, do not. Oh, man. I said, it brings you to the new age women, huh? Yeah. Toxic masculinity was going on. <laughs> that is the problem. Man, that was 500 years ago. Bang. The shield Bang. maidens are just as strong as the, the men, the warriors. Everybody got a, a whole sexist opinion about it. They're like, I can't yeah. believe they did that to the women. Uh, uh, we got to change that in the show. I'm like, no, that's history. You got to let it be. It's part of the I history. I wonder if they ever protest at Renaissance. First period. of all, Eve like, didn't even bring the apple to Adam. Adam, uh, asked, for, <laughs> Adam oh asked for something to eat. God, Adam asked for something to eat. She brought something. She didn't know that him and God had a agreement. I'll never hear that uh, that argument. I'll, I'll walk out. I'm I would like, probably no. walk away. I'm like, no, I ain't even about to. I can't this, argue with nobody This is the like one that. we didn't even get to come across. And I, we got to bring it up because of Father's Day is coming up when they were talking about canceling Father's Day. I don't. Uh, I, bro, well, that shit pissed me off. When yeah, I it was like a it's something someone tweeted. And I don't know if she was serious or not and how far I reached, but Wimpy people started stuff. reposting and it was like, you know what? On the cool. And I like There ain't nothing on the cool. Shut up. You can't Why even make you, this make sense. Stop. You're not even a mother. Shut up. <laughs> Why would you cancel? You don't even have kids. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> It'd be the moms. It'd be the moms that be right. like, this is for me too. This is my day too. Nah, nah see, that's a whole other bro. Nah. You got your day. You got you exactly. You got Why your would you want to be labeled as like Cause well, I'm the mom and the dad. I see the yeah. post on that. Like, I like, get the point. <laughs> Shut I up! See the, I see the post on that. They were like, uh, they was like, moms, don't do it this year. Yeah, mm-hmm. don't, don't do it because you already know. Really? Yeah. Well, happy Father's Day to me. Yeah. I, no, bro. no, 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 bro. Stop it. Yeah. No, bro. Get some help. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you crazy. holding it down for the set, keep holding it down for the set. You're doing but great. for the fathers happy that Mother's are Day. in the children's lives yeah. and a part of their children's lives, let them be celebrated, bro. Like, yeah. there's Had nothing wrong with that, man. Like, bro. It's nothing wrong with and it. And parents, I mean, mothers, give, give the father a bomb ass gift. Not no time pin, you know. <laughs> Y'all, y'all expect something nice of y'all day. I agree. You know, give the father something nice yeah. too. But it's, it's marketing, bro. Like, oh, it definitely Father's is. Day isn't yeah. marketed just as much as Mother's it Day. Should is. It, should oh, be. Yeah, oh, it should be. Yeah, definitely. It should be. Oh, yeah, there you go. And you, as you say, can hear. No, nah, wifey be, uh, she be doing the thing for me. But I'm just yeah, saying, like, know. it's funny because <laughs> me and Nisha was at the store. We was at Macy's. And this is all my inside. One. This is just my second one. What? Okay, we was at Macy's and um, yeah. So like, I'm I'm looking for the Father's Day stuff because 
Shit, you know they put Mother's Day stuff out like a month to two damn yep. near in mm-hmm. advance. Yep. So I mean, I'm like, dang, what all of um, Father's Day stuff at? And we seen a little sign <laughs> next to the register that said Happy oh, Father's, Father's Day. Day sale, and it was like a little sign next to, like almost as if it said Cash Only No Card. It was a <laughs> sign yeah, that man. looked That's just cold. like that. And I said, Nisha, would you look at this? That they, little. That's they cold. got a little sign. Next to the register, and it's like I said, y'all don't even give a damn about fathers. And the lady, Not at all, the bro. little cashier, was it's laughing. It's just my second one, but Kes be doing it big, so I be, I be. Appreciate shout out to the, that's what's to the shout out to the women, women that be it. actually, yeah, man, that's because they know they they get it, they get, they get it. it. They, they you not can't walk in the, the jury uh, jury store without getting front yeah. of, about a sale. Yep. Oh, they, oh, they got uh, the fact that they actually have Father's Day cards dedicated to mothers. They do? Wait, mm-hmm. I've seen I'm them. sure they do. I, mean, I did not know that. Yeah, I've seen them. And I was like, are you then serious? Then why get rid of our day? You might as well yeah, just use it. Just it was use at Walgreens. Take, take it. Go ahead. You yeah, take I'm everything gonna, else yeah, from us. I'm like, are you <laughs> just take it. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you change your oil next Look, time. Their life, boy, yeah. their life expectancy is longer. <laughs> what else? It, 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 they go down. They got all the holidays. You replace your Blake flu. I got it made. You do it. I mean, come on. Oh my God. You figure out how to fix the sink. You do it. We stress mm-hmm. all day. Our job is to stress. If somebody you bang, cut the grass. If somebody bang on the door at 3 30 in the morning, you know who gotta go downstairs? But it's brave, man. We do. Facts. We gotta face the front baby, no matter what. Baby, does somebody go? You check the door. This is all I lie. <laughs> baby, you heard it. Shit, man. You know what my biggest <laughs> reference is? Freaking good times. James Evan worked his ass off. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean he worked. And he mm-hmm. busted. He was scrubbing mm-hmm. dishes. He was doing all kind of stuff. Next thing you know, guess guess what? No more James Evans. That's sad, man. They and then they killed them all. Then funny. they go and make it after he didn't passed away, after she got remarried. I was like, mm-hmm. damn, no damn, 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 damn. This ain't man. no good times. Yep. He's hard. Good about this. Good. The hard worker gone, and the Crazy. story continues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just killed them all. Life of a man. Mm. That's just hey man, hey we ain't we ain't trying to you know put we, no we are male against <laughs> female yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying let us have our moment Let's disclaimer have our moment. yeah we gotta, I just I just want us it should be an equal man just equal really should, partnership when it comes to certain trying, stuff trying to bring it back okay I got yeah it. man because yeah, okay. at the Whatever. end of the day yeah, we understand what women deal with especially black women we understand that right. they go through a lot of ridicule and judgment more than any other race you know what I'm saying Definitely, so man, it it would be nice. That you know they see what black men go through. It would be nice mm-hmm. for you know some women to appreciate that. I'm not saying that right. women don't. There are plenty that do. You know, what I'm saying I've seen it. There, right. you know, there. <laughs> huh? That boy so hit you back. Yeah, you. yeah. I had to I'm make sure because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to uh, generalize because I know we hate when women generalize men in one category so right. I gotta make sure oh, yeah. I do the same for women of course but Definitely. you know it when it comes to like Father's Day Good yeah day. like let us have that man especially Thanks. the black fathers that are there Definitely, let, us, man. let us have you know, that we man. gotta Big we fact. gotta shine light on everything positive yeah. you know what I'm saying like if there's dads that are actually present yeah. don't water the moment by saying uh, I'm the mom and the dad nah no, give, no, give recognition no. when recognition yeah, is yeah, due you know what I'm saying up. like and a lot of people um, made choices to be mm-hmm. with certain mm-hmm. people that they knew wasn't from the start mm-hmm. and then they want to play victim See, that's what killed me. when things don't run the way they expected to I, I hate seeing that that's one of the most annoying stories you got all these people saying he ain't shit you should yeah and then no, you go but it's something shit. about yeah. him i'm not hating I'm actually i can change you. him <laughs> i'm actually telling you because he ain't shit for real this is not a joke yep. <laughs> nah for real i mean this is what it, i don't get it man like yo to make it make sense because that's that's literally that's literally a thing like I forgot who I was talking to, but or maybe was that us? That was us talking last part, I think. Like wow. about women, if they just held themselves to a different regard, how mm-hmm. they would actually yep, that was last people would come out. I mean, but shoot, if you seeing a dude that Counterfeit ain't worth queens. nothing, counterfeit <laughs> queen, shout out to Brandon for the name. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. But they, if you they, see somebody that's like be. not worth it, <laughs> keep it moving. Keep don't it even waste both, your time. Keep it yep. Pushing. Don't don't waste your time, man. That's exactly. that's Let stress that you don't need on your life. Yep. Facts. I say you knew how it was before y'all created life why would you know in, in but he gonna change <laughs> no nope. that is the what nope. you mean how's that gonna change <laughs> and even if he do change i mean 
maybe this is not the season for y'all to be together. Maybe. Big mm-hmm. facts. Maybe, maybe you should wait for the actual change and then get mm-hmm. with them. Because mm-hmm. some people get with you and they get comfortable and then they don't change. Right. And then you just. I'm just here this, to spit. In the cycle of. Uh, spit them gems. Of BS, man. Yeah. So Over and over and over. And then your ch- your children kind of grow up seeing that. Mm-hmm. And then it's right. like they, they do the same thing un- un- unknowingly. Um, but they follow the same regards. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. How many people we know grew up with in a single, either a single um, parent household or where <coughs> there's an absent yep. a parent. Mm-hmm. And yep. some people, that's the topic I do want to talk about. Like, cause I, I remember having that discussion with some friends and they were like, you don't know what it feels like because I mm-hmm. grew up with both my mom and dad in the house the whole time. <clears throat> and so their thing to me, for some of the reasons in the, you know, some of their actions was because of that. And it's like, personally, I'm like, I get that. And I, I, I can't, you know, and I want, especially you, I know for sure, mm-hmm. um, but to get y'all take on it, but I was like, well, both my parents grew up without, mm-hmm. you know, having both yeah. in their home. I was just um, thinking the same thing. I was like, I grew Especially up. my dad, he was mm-hmm. grew up with his grandparents. So it's like, for them, that's why I always refer people to them, because I'm like, you know what, I can't. But I refer to you to somebody who who's had who's had to grow up like that. But mm-hmm. they their thing was always I don't want my child to do mm-hmm. you know feel the same way I did. So I don't right. make that excuse. <clears throat> they never made that excuse with Ooh, well I did it, so uh, I guess it's yeah. gone. I, I that's that excuse is like a crutch to me because mm-hmm. I grew up with my grandma early, moved with my mom, stayed with my dad. He got a wife, stepmom. Mm-hmm. Had, I moved yeah. back with my mom. For, I was moving around a lot, so I was never really with both my actual parents, right? Mm-hmm. On, other than when I was in like maybe pre-K, like that's the only time I really remember it. And then, um, with that, like <coughs> when I met Kess, she always had her mom, always da- had her mom and dad together at all times. Right. So I was like, yeah. this is so weird to me. Like I, I didn't know nothing about that because everybody right. I hung with, we was either one parent or steps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you had your steps in there. So it was, it was crazy to me. And I was like, this is what I want. So right. like just right. seeing it. And that and this is me in college. This is not like young me or nothing saying that. that I was in college like. It's wow. kind of lit. Yeah, and that's yeah. sad that <laughs> I, I had to be that surprised by it in college. But it was just, it was mm-hmm. dope to me. Right. And so I, I, I was like, man, I got to, that's what I want. I'm, And I don't really believe in divorce like that. Like I'm just, yeah. right, I feel like a lot of stuff can be worked out through talk most of the time anyway. So Right. For sure. Mm-hmm. You know. That's, That's my true. take on that. Yeah. It's, see, with me, it's kind of it's kind of different because <laughs> I remember as a kid, I was, of course, I was I was a goofball and stuff. And my dad, you know, <laughs> he was always the type, I couldn't do nothing silly around him. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, dang. And as crazy as this sounds, like when <clears throat> they broke up, my mom and dad around, I was like seven. I was like, man, a part of me was like, man. I can do silly stuff now. You know, I don't really see him as much and stuff. Maybe like maybe a couple times, maybe every other weekend and stuff. Mm. Right. <laughs> but I knew every time when he was around, I couldn't really, you know. Be yourself. Yeah. Be yourself. Mm-hmm. And I was, you know, animated, you know, stupid, goofy little kid or whatnot. Mm-hmm. But yet, of course, when I got older, especially like after high school and stuff, that's when it kind of affected me more because I'm like, all right, it's the real world. Right. It's time, you know, I'm at that man stage and I'm like, I'm lacking a lot of like discipline of what mm-hmm. a man should be and stuff. I was mm-hmm. never a bad kid or nothing, but yet still, you know, even the simple type of, you know, like, let's say, oh, not going to, going to bed a certain time, this and that, playing video games, you know, waking up, your grades sometimes not the best, you know, stuff like that. I feel like, you know, that's what a father's there for. It's, you know, you know, like discipline, you know, somebody, mm-hmm. sometimes you need that manly talk, you know, the mother can only do so much. Mm-hmm. That's why I kind of feel like, you know, man, you know, I kind of like, it kind of like messed me up to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to say my dad was never like the worst. Mm-hmm. Yet there was some times where for years, you know, we didn't see him. And I was just like, man, I wonder how come. Like, you know, he always stayed in Houston too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then a part of me was like, you know, eh, it is what it is. You know, he's there, you know, you know, and, eh, you know, but then it's like once I got older, I'm like, you know what? Especially like in my, when I was like, my mid twenties and like late twenties, I'm like, man, I kind of wish my dad was fully in my life, yeah. right? Like mm-hmm. that. So and it's crazy, and especially I know it also affected like my brother and sister, especially my you know my brother and whatnot, you know, because I feel like I wasn't, I didn't, I guess have the experience of you know like my dad being there. So like me and my dad don't have a bond. So 
Now, me and my brother, we're like working on more of like a a bond, a bond man. now mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, that's so. that's crazy. I have kind of the same situation with my that's dope though. Right? Yeah, because older brother, like we've always been pretty cool, but we didn't really because we 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 moved around so much. I never really could get connected with people. Right. So like I. I always like I always tell people I'm actually an introvert. I can be very social, but mm-hmm. I'm I'm definitely an introvert because yeah. of like I can definitely say that probably has something to do with it exactly. because I never would like get connected with a lot of people mm-hmm. because I moved around Houston. Like I said, I moved I've lived north side, uh southwest, right. south side, southeast. I've lived all over Houston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like whenever somebody say where you from, we're like I'm from the north side. I was going to ask that. Yeah, so you don't really claim that. I'm from the north side. <laughs> like right. so like, a lot of my family's from the north side, but I don't ever like be like, yeah, I'm north side. North yeah. side. Like I'd be like I'm from Houston. So like because hey, I've yeah. been all through the city. So like <clears throat> I've seen both parts. I've seen so yeah. many different sides <clears throat> of it. Mm-hmm. And so where I was <clears throat> going with that, <laughs> um <laughs> My um, it brings me back to my my coworker because he was looking at me and he was like, the fact that you have a father figure is just is is a plus. And I was oh, like, yeah, shoot, I've always thought it was like, it, it was rough for me because I never really had both of them at the same time. But mm-hmm. having a dad really did help because I had him most of my life. Like yeah. I wasn't with my mom; I was with my dad most of the time. Right. right. And so I was learning a lot of stuff through him, mm-hmm. which definitely I can say definitely helped me molded me in a different way. Right. But um, my coworker he was like, man, I I grew up with my mom, so it was like. It's, it's dope that you have that experience and you know how to right. handle certain things a different way. I didn't know. All I know was emotion with a lot yeah. of stuff. That's, that's what he always used to tell me. He'd be like, like that's what he always tells me now. Right. He'd be like, um, I handle so much stuff emotionally when I, when I actually should be doing it this way, this way, and that way. And I would, like, I, like if I had a dad, I think he probably would have told me to do something mm-hmm. like And I that. think that's, mm-hmm. that's actually, it's crazy that you say that because people are trying to defy reality with that like yeah. you can you can say it's okay for a man and the man and the woman and the woman but we don't really we're not going to really see the effects of that until the future mm-hmm. i always yeah. say we're the guinea pig generation yeah. because i believe we've we've never experienced so much so much technology and radiation in our ears and shit and around us 24 7 uh we never realized um had to deal with phones and stuff being able to be at uh, rates that our eyes barely can like like catch on to like mm-hmm. you know how some people wake up in the morning as soon as they wake up they looking at their phone like mm-hmm. you're not even letting your eyes adjust i mean it's is that is it's all these things and so like with the with the households i feel like you can be whoever you want to be and be with anyone you want to be with but we just can't deny the fact that as grown men yeah i can you know be honest and say you felt that that missing out on certain mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. aspect because of yeah. not having one and Overly having one and not mm-hmm. having the other. See, that's the yeah. thing. And that's a real thing. And, and that's the thing about it. Like, we don't know the other sex at the end of the day. We can say we know yeah. so much, yeah. but you don't know. Like, a woman can't tell a guy how to do such and such with his Because you don't even know how to parts, feel. Mm-hmm. You don't know yeah, how yeah. it feels when, his, when he gets hit in the nuts or something. Like, you yeah. can't. she can't tell you that. She can just tell you about something that it might that might feel similar, yeah. Yeah. but she can't actually tell you that. She mm-hmm. can't tell you about mm-hmm. what it feels like to be a black dude, a black man walking down the street going to such and such. She, yeah, definitely. She exactly. can try, but yep. at the end of the day, she can't. And that's why, like, I feel like it's good to have both. And it's good right. like to have that father figure as as, a, as a male, I guess. Mm-hmm. And Tupac as a woman, said it, man. It ain't easy a than a man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then a dominant, like that's what thing people don't realize, like, cause it's, and it's like I'm always blessed because I had both. Like mm-hmm. yeah. my dad was just, I didn't even want to cry in front of my dad. Like that's Same. how like. I See, feel like he was yeah. overly mm-hmm. like yeah. tough. Though. My dad was definitely my tough. dad definitely <laughs> so, like, man. overly did it. I think the good part about me having a step though is that i did get to experience the other side right. because mm-hmm. I, I saw my mom from time to time i wasn't with my mom very mm-hmm. often i was go summertime maybe um sometimes through the year mm-hmm. um yeah it was it was like that so right so you uh, got bits and pieces of that, yeah, I got that bits side and pieces. so mm-hmm. and it wasn't like a day-to-day it was more just like so with let's my catch step-mom, up i had to basically adjust to this different woman basically at the time right. mm-hmm. now, i i used to call her a wicked stepmom or whatever at the time are oh, you were one of those kids yeah. <laughs> no and there was a reason there was, oh, okay i had my reasons but gotcha. yeah yeah but at the end of the day i was also a kid so I, don't, I didn't know no better. I'm right. just like, that's not my mom type mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. But as I grown, you know, I grew closer and like I, I grew to understand what type of way she liked to teach. Because she's tough too. She she was honestly 
tougher than my dad. Mm. Like she she'd get on me. Yeah. And she she would have me like what she did though, she made me really mentally tough as far as like cuz she played a lot of she was like a strategist, I guess you could say yeah. when it came oh, to like how dope. she would punish you or how how she would talk to you. Mm-hmm. And she was smart. She's she's was she is smart. <laughs> and um so she was really tougher than my dad <clears throat> in, in 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 a different way. Yeah, or, you know, my dad would jack my ass up or something, you know, physically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, mm-hmm. He'd talk to me some ways, but you know, you, 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 you know, it's mm-hmm. different. It's a different that's, vibe. That's powerful, bro. Because you need that. Mm-hmm. You don't right. re- you don't recognize how things. Facts. You don't right. recognize it until you get older, and you be like, man. And that's the thing we don't talk about this. That's why I'm glad we're talking about it yeah. now because it's probably some people watching this is like, damn. You know, you try to psychologically man it up all the time exactly. yeah but it's like sometimes bro you just got to be honest like yeah you really needed that father figure like definitely yeah i know yeah. you listened to tupac and you mm-hmm. jam zero all your life and they pretty much raised you um right. but at the same time that's that's still an absent i presence. remember yep. um so i got together with my girl in 2013 mm-hmm. my mom passed in 2013. Mm-hmm. she was with me for like like kess was with me like we were cool for a, for a little while before that but then 2013 came and she passed December 13th. And mm. um, I mm. didn't want to show it in front of Kess, basically, because I'm so used to, like, I don't cry. Right. And, and so I'm trying my hardest. And, like, I'm, like, trying not to cry, like, because I don't, this is what I know. Like, I know mm-hmm. I don't cry in front of people. Mm-hmm. And so I'm uh, <laughs> doing that, trying to be tough. And then, like I, I can't remember. It was like something I seen that just made me think of my mom, and it was like, yeah, boom! Man. I just, like I couldn't even couldn't control. control it. I was yeah. trying to stop. Like I can't be doing this in front of her. Like, and I'm like, like trying to stop yeah. it. It mm-hmm. fucked with me pretty hard. But um, uh, that um, yeah, I didn't did not expect to say that. But uh, <laughs> no, I got you. But um, that um, it's a safe space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh moment, it um, it really like. It like opened me up to where like it's okay for me to be doing that. Like mm, I didn't right. know that until 2013. That's what was 2021. That was eight years ago, yeah. and I was still in my I was in my 20s, and I didn't know that. Like I didn't know until my 20s that it was okay to show emotion. Mm. Basically. Yeah. And it's powerful to say that because that story can help somebody. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, like man. because you know we do feel like that. Like we gotta be super macho, and there's nothing I'm wrong with that. Like, yeah, but yeah, but see, yeah. having that balance, and then now you know how to be a better father to your son, just because mm-hmm. of those experiences, you know. And just, I just wanted to let people know, man. Like, just the re- whole reason is just don't don't cherish cherish not only cherish the moment, but cherish how you're raising children mm-hmm. and and what yeah, you're man. raising them in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because a lot of things that we glorify right now, like with the social media and thinking a lot of shit is funny. Personally, we don't know how that's gonna affect these kids in the next ten years. Like, mm-hmm. it For might real. be a lot of, and God forbid, but I just know how emotionally it it makes people suicidal. Yes, you know what I'm saying because yeah. you're feeling like not only are you targeted at school, but damn, mm-hmm. you can't even go online without people. It's like you feel like the world is like yeah, got a finger at you. It's twenty four seven. I say it all the time, like because social media for me, like it's crazy because people see me now as like a social media person. But I mm-hmm. was not a social media right. person. Hey, and so, right. like, I notice things about social media that I don't, like, participate in, of course. Mm-hmm. But I, I try to stay constant with certain things. Right, right. And I realize, like, social media really makes people, like, really, really insensitive. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's crazy because I think about that for my son. Like, what what would he, what, what would he be in, like, 10, 15 years? You know, yeah, how would bro. he be, like, emotionally, mentally... Like, will he be able to socialize like we were able to because we got to deal with, we didn't always have technology. Yo. Right. Like, 10, yeah. I wasn't even, I didn't even have a phone at 10. Oh, no. I was yeah. running around mm-hmm. doing random stuff, playing with a super soaker. Yep. So, now yeah. it's Ooh. like, yeah. my little brother. The razor scooter. scooter. <laughs> Man. <Yep. laughs> yeah, my little brother had um his phone at, like, Seven, eight, or something, something oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah that's that's what gets me, man. My daughter yeah. wanted a phone. It was an emergency phone, but he had like you know he had a whole phone at that time. It's crazy, it was, man. But you know what? Let's let's get on that because that's the thing. Like I've been seeing that lately about. I'm in, I'm in between now on the whole generation thing, like with like the kids now be all in the house and on technology mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. We was back outside drinking water from the water hose. Like personally, I don't 
I see both sides because I, I can agree with that. Because honestly, it's a lot more dangerous now. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly. Because my that's mom true. used to, even though she still didn't, <laughs> but she would probably watch me through the window. But I used to like be able to ride my bike down the street, mm-hmm. come back, and I was in elementary mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. she knew we was in the street yeah. and somebody in the neighborhood Tom, knew who Tom I was. Was definitely different. Yeah, was my de- grandmother. Because we had, had this conversation with my grandma around mm-hmm. like, like last year. I'm like. Man, this neighborhood just gotten so worse now, man. Like these young kids, and he was like, my grandma was like, well, back. Then, I was like, when we were younger, it wasn't like this, right? And then my grandma was like, well, see, back then, everybody, everybody was your mother. Like mm-hmm. the whole street, they know who you were, they know. So anything mm-hmm. that happened, they knew. You know, you were more like supervised, I guess, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And we losing, like, we see, losing a thing. grandma. Era. Yeah, that's the thing about technology as well, though. It also makes people a lot distant. So, oh yeah, definitely. So that with that happening, like a lot of these neighbors, people don't even know each other. Do y'all yeah. know oh, yeah. all y'all neighbors right here? Um, uh, not personally, but, but we. But like y'all still know, like hey, happens, you know, though, yeah, yeah you know, that's dope, sometimes yeah. that happens where people will move in and they don't know anybody on the street. Oh and yeah. So mm-hmm. like in our neighborhood, like when I was growing up, like you were saying, everybody knew each other. Oh yeah, definitely. So you riding down the street, I could walk to school. Mm-hmm. I used to walk to school yeah. in like third, fourth grade, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. walking like miles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not like a few block like miles, yep. but then it's, it's like it's because I I just see both sides because mm-hmm. now you got you got niggas kidnapping kids exactly mm-hmm. you know what I'm Crazy saying like man. I can't just let the kids I I seen something on the next door app about somebody in the neighborhood where uh, it was a guy uh, this kid was riding his bike and this dude pulled up in a pickup trying to damn he was just sitting there watching and then oh, he what? went and then the no. kid and must that, have yelled or something so I agree with that though. and grabbed his attention it's because just i hard. thought about that as well because people are getting crazy yeah, yeah. i mean people been crazy but people are getting crazy they're, they're more uh open about it and, and yeah. then social media is making it easier though yeah at mm-hmm. the same time yep. So it's yeah. like it's a back and forth with it it is it it's is. like it's cool technology keeping you inside and i know you safe in here but yeah. at the same time, it's like technology is also taking you outside because you're on some app that you just yeah. be on type shit. You know, it's it's so many. It's, 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 right. it's weird. That's why I think it's, it's harder both. now for the kids. That And that's yep. the thing I'm scared of, man, because yeah. I got three. And, you know, it's like people yeah. all day, people all day will tell you, oh, no, my kid ain't going to do this. My kid. I stopped being like that a long time ago man, because the know. thing about being a parent is. Because you know you got people that's funny. I got a daughter. Oh, what you gonna do when 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 she brings somebody home? And da, da, da. I said, you know, I can't answer a question now for later mm-hmm. yeah. because mentally, I'll be in a different place. I'm mm-hmm. supposed to be in a different place mentally then versus now. It's just like now, True. I'm in a different place now than I was when I was 21, 22 when yeah, we was having her. Because mm-hmm. I at first I was like, man, no, nah, I gotta. And I remember working out because I was like, man, I wanna. If anybody come in here, bro, they gonna know what's up. Mentally, yeah. now I'm just like, you can be the biggest dude in the world. If your daughter want to go mess with a knucklehead, she going to go mess with a knucklehead. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just reality. So right, that's the, I'm no. just really that's big right. on I'm big on teaching my kids independence, bro. Thinking Thanks. for yourself and, and, and just be very mindful of your surroundings and your situation. Thanks. And that's what happens when you have a two-parent household that actually are trying to instable right good pr- principles in their kids at a young age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's brings it right back to the parent thing, man. It's crazy. Right. Circled around. Full circle. I get what you're saying, though, but it's only right. You got to do the bad boys two thing, though. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's only right. <laughs> so you have, you can either pick w- one of the fellas. Nah, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the, uh, <laughs> you know, what's that, what's that movie with, um, 50 Cent and Ice Cube's son? Um, uh, Den of Thieves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- yeah. I'm gonna do the Den of Thieves. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all the homies gonna be in the garage. Yep, there you go. Hey. And I'm gonna like, hey, hey, oh, hold on real quick. Let me go. Let me we, talk to him real quick. All, right. all y'all gonna be in there with the with the weights and stuff, yep. just throwing them off. Because Keem, me and Keem, I always bring <laughs> it up. Because Keem was like, because Keem's really that uncle that'll probably do some shit like that. Mm-hmm. You, yep. That boy full blown crazy. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I call him up. And he uh, he was like, shoot, I'd definitely do bad boys. If any of us had girls, man, this would be fun. Man. <laughs> he'd, get all, he'd get all excited about it. I'm like, damn, you can calm down. <laughs> no, <laughs> but that would be the one. Relax. <laughs> relax a little bit. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm I'm for sure. I'm for sure gotta do that. Like I'm a, I'm gonna have fun. That's one thing exactly. with my kids. Yeah, yeah, you're having mm-hmm. fun with well, my yeah. kids, they going my daughter gonna know like that's just my dad. My dad yeah, is don't, like don't no I'm that, that parent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dad, yep. Kiss dad got all the guns. So well, <laughs> we <laughs> He Man, was like, 
Yeah, just you know, take care of my baby, and I gotta, you know, I got it on me. <laughs> <laughs> that type you of know stuff. I got yeah. it on me. He gonna have that. He gonna give you that laugh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? As he he's funny as hell. As yeah. he should, because. <laughs> and then that's that's dope because you're supposed to have that relationship with your son-in-law or something like that, and you're supposed to respect that mm -hmm. because yeah. you would want to think when you have a daughter, mm -hmm. the same dude that come home or or take your daughter's hand in marriage should have that respect for you, not, mm -hmm. nigga, don't be talking to me like that, nigga, I got him too. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, And yeah. it's, it's like now I feel like the generation is more disrespectful. It's crazy you said yeah, that. Man. I just seen a post on that, and it was like, it was like, Nobody better come up talking about uh, they got a gun because I I pull up with the whole family blah 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 blah. I was like, what? Now you are gonna get the whole family shot? It Boy. ain't like mm -hmm. he actually trying to kill. He just yeah. saying, take care of my baby. That's basically mm -hmm. what they saying. I'm gonna tell you now. <laughs> yeah. I I watch sixty days in. I've I've done my little. I do that every periodically. My wife can hey. be, <laughs> my wife can attest to this. Oh I watch it every now and then just so I know because it's just a few things that I know is gonna put me in jail. Mm -hmm. So I already that's smart though. I already, <laughs> it's a show that you can watch. Uh, I want to say it's on Hulu or Netflix, and so it's like these innocent people. So these civilians, regular civilians, they can go on and they can live the life in uh, jail for sixty days. So basically, the actual point of it is, those individuals who go in are supposed to kind of like fit in. The, the the jail people don't know. That they're on the TV show, right? So they're supposed to go in and possibly find out some information on things that's going on with the cellies, the oh, cellmates right. and stuff. I but definitely watch that. It's a good show because it's like these innocent, like normal everyday people who would never commit a crime that you would think. I think uh, <laughs> Kess might have been watching. That you can right even there. like what you call it to get on there because I watched a lot of. I'm gonna have to look it up. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I gotta watch it. Like I, I was hooked. I was like, oh man, look what's about to go down. And then you know they, but I'm just like, I always watch these shows because, you know, jail. Nobody want to go to jail, but it's mm -hmm. like it's yeah. just one of them things where preparation. If you know, because shit, this just, just, just how case. crazy the world yeah. is getting. You stupid. It's good to know. It's good to know a lot of different aspects of life in general. Exactly. So for mm -hmm. me, that's why I like to learn random stuff. Like her dad, I had never seen a black dude that like went hunting. That was new to me. Cause I, I oh love man, that. So I didn't know nothing about that, but I thought that I thought that was dope. So I was like, yeah, you got to teach me. So like he he's he's a jack of all trades. Her dad can do literally everything. That's lit. That's what's up. Don't like feel, day, ain't it like pressure? Huh? It's hella pressure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. It's pressure because I already got a dad that's smart as shit. And I got. Oh, you getting it on both sides. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> got a dad that's smart as shit. Went to Harvard. Let's just put mm. that out oh, there. Man. Oh, for real? So, like, oh, you got to say that again. He went where? What? Harvard. Oh, hey, that's, that's, what's up. that's a flex. That's for real. Hey, that's first, lit. First dude out of Fifth Ward. Yeah, out of Fifth Ward. For real. We give that man a day. I was on the news like when I was in what? What grade was that? Second, fourth grade. Oh, wow, that's so lit. That's what's up, man. We're in the news and everything. Man, that's dope, bro. And my granny on my granny couch. We had no idea what was going on. I just smiling, I was just smiling like, way. Just smiling. We had Harvard <laughs> shirts on. I had my J's on. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's lit, bro. We, mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. But yeah, so him and then I got my my father in law who's who can fix literally anything. We were just what was that Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. We were supposed to be working on this car. We ended up not working on the car because he had we had to fix the water heater thing in the attic, and so we had to replace them. We we're basically I had to go to uh, what was that Northern Tools and get this levy uh, thing so we can bring it to the down Northern the uh, attic. Yeah. Bring the uh, bring the big water heater thing down the, down yeah. the attic, man. Listen to our jargon, the water heater thing. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I, I don't be knowing nothing. He just be teaching me everything. I'm like, okay, that's what you do with that, okay? <laughs> so I'm just learning like so many. I learned a lot of stuff from him, like as far as like the manual labor stuff mm -hmm. and how yeah. to fix this and that, like random stuff that I didn't learn on my, on my end. Mm -hmm. That's so, powerful, bro, because you know yeah. what? Like they always say, it takes a village to raise a child. Facts. Mm -hmm. Not Man. saying that you're a child, but just like mentally, mm -hmm. that knowledge, you should always be open to soak up. I tell my dad now, like, man, I should have listened to you when it came to fixing cars and fixing up stuff mm -hmm. because when my dad used to be doing that, and I used to, he used to want to teach me. I'm either playing outside or yeah. playing on a computer or mm -hmm. playing football. Now I'm like, like, give me everything, man. Yeah. We um, I actually my first project I did with him, we fix, we uh, added the extension to the back of the house. So mm, like okay. we're do, carrying the two by fours, he was he was teaching me how to cut with the the saws and stuff. Like oh. I was learning a lot of stuff, man. and so I'm just out here cutting with the saws. Because because one thing, you if you're gonna be with my baby, you are gonna have to know what you're doing. Basically, with <laughs> 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 I, I told him, I said, I want to help. 
Like I don't care. I, I actually want to help because I want to know how to do this. That's a good look though, man. This is cool. Yeah, like he was showing me how to put the cement in there and everything. I was like, this is kind of dope. That's I was tired look. of shit, but it was dope as hell. <laughs> it's good. You couldn't quit. I was doing it on my own now yeah. that I yeah, seen it. I'm like, I'm paying somebody to do this next time. That's us. Because I don't know how the hell. I'll be stuck in between doing stuff now or just paying somebody to do it. I'm on my dad in on that. My dad be like, should pay somebody. Yeah. Cause it's like time. You feel like cause nowadays you just you feel like you see how fast time is just mm-hmm. moving. For real. So you know a lot of times you just like you know what I want to pay somebody that's an expert at this that way I ain't gotta fight with this fifty million times and mm-hmm. then it's gonna now be right. Now the water thing I can I think I can do that again because it was it wasn't too difficult. Like he, other than the fact that he was like drilling in the garage, opening up the pipe in there. I don't he doing some other gotcha. stuff. But <laughs> so you still gonna hire somebody? <laughs> Facts. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, I, I got this for me. Besides no. that part, I probably still. call him and be like, "Hey, how I do this part?" Yeah. And then I do the rest. So you put the <laughs> you put the wagon, you put the uh, carburetor in the hoop. You my stupid. hose go where? Facts. Stupid. I remember doing it. My, my first time, my dad had me doing the battery on the car when giving uh somebody a jump. And I was so scared when he was like, hey, man, don't put the wrong one. Yeah, <laughs> no. like, Man, you do it. I don't want to put none, man. I threw the yeah. cables and told him to do it. Plus a negative, man. <laughs> Plus a negative. Right, man, you got to you put, put that on there right. You Shit. can't. Do, and then one time I clicked it and I'm like, I was like, oh, yep. I was right. nope. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I almost died. I was like, oh, I'm out of here. But I mean. I'm going to walk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a car anyway. Let me catch the seventy-seven. Oh man! But uh, th- that's, that's that's like a dope thing, bro. Because yeah. it's it's ah, you just can't you can't pass that up and them 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 feelings and that 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 time that experience. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so that I'm hoping again nowadays these kids. You know, we we do. We do low key be hating on them because of their technology, but oh yeah, man, y'all got at the same mate. time. Mm-hmm. Yep. We 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 got some too that we can hold on to, like, yeah. you know that they ain't gonna never be able to say, oh I remember when nah, cause you came you in, most. you came in with what the iPhone mean? six. What you got right pulled up right there? Oh well, um, since we were talking about how things are different right now when it comes to how in, having kids, being outside, playing and stuff like that, you know, unsupervised, it's kind of hard to do that. This is another situation why it's hard to do that. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, apparently oh, uh, a yeah. child was shot Man, that's uh, ridiculous, by a homeowner because his bike was, like, laying in the front of his yard. So when yeah. the child went to go pick up his bike or whatever, first, reportedly, he swung a sledgehammer at him. And he missed. Yeah, so he went he back in the quick. house, got a gun, <laughs> shot him, and then, you know, luckily the kid, you know, yeah. he survived. But they doctor said if it was like a few inches, uh, you know, in yeah. certain areas, it could have been fatal. And it was so, caught on video, too, which is crazy. Yeah, it was right. called on video. It and was, um, yeah. uh, the dude's name, I'm not going to pronounce his last name, but his first name is Ryan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he was released on bail. At ten thousand dollars, but then of course people was like, "Yo, that is too low of a exactly. bail. Why? Why would he be released on bail like that?" They increased the bail to a hundred thousand, right. so he's back in jail where he belongs. Because exactly. that's one of those things where it's like, it it wasn't even that necessary. Like, exactly, I, I, we grew up where we would sometimes just leave our bike sometimes in front of somebody else's yard. Mm-hmm. And, you know, say if they want us to pick it up, we pick it up. But it's a little kid. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Why would you Crazy. even think of bringing a sledgehammer mm-hmm. to hurt a little kid, let alone shoot them? You was yeah. trying to kill them. Exactly. Like, that, and I'm going to be honest with you, man, those are one of those situations where you got to be ready to go to jail. Oh, because yeah. well, that, that's the perfect example of, like, I get it, I understand uh, I yeah. get it, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to let the police and professionals handle this, but I'm going to professionally shoot him. Exactly. Because like, yeah. that's time, that's exactly. not even, like, that's that's not even no discussion. Yeah. That's not, hey, bro, what you in jail for? A motherfucker shot my child for no reason. Oh, yeah. okay, well, I understand. Man, I, I seen the dad on the, the news, and I was just like, man, you taking that shit way better yeah, than Yeah, you better than me, I wouldn't bro. even be wanting to be seen. I'm like, move that camera, please. Yep, exactly. I Wait, got this handled. Because that's, nah, Oh, he bro. out? I Bet. think they said he they ordered him not to go home either. Yeah, they did. They, they so that way, to go home. it's a protection that. aspect because yeah. they know. And they know. Oh no, nah, bro! Been sitting and this out. happened in Michigan, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I mean, this happened in Michigan. I'd have been right on the side. He was of the six jail. years old, bro. Right. Waiting for him to hop in that Toyota. Oh, he yeah. about to get bailed out? Okay, bet. bet. Yeah, bust him. Exactly. Man, I, I called the cops. Hey, uh, I shot the dude that y'all just bailed out. Y'all right. can come get me here. He's bleeding out. Y'all may want to hurry up. Yep. Uh, that that's it. It wouldn't even took that long. It would have happened the yeah. day of my child getting shot. Because that, bro, that's that, yo, that I can't even 
process why. Exactly. You know, there's one. Shoot a kid I wouldn't give a, a damn if you have mental issues or not. No. No, bro. You had you were fully ment- you know, mentally oh, ready yeah, enough yeah. to pull the trigger on anybody. I couldn't honestly yeah. just nah, tell bro. you. Why are you in the house nah. with a gun if you're mental? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I couldn't tell you not how I would act if my Boy, son ran in here oh, nah, bro. shot in the arm because some neighbor was like I couldn't yeah. tell you what I would do. Like, and that's the scariest part. Mm-hmm. That's I couldn't terrifying. Tell you. But that's exactly. what it that's what it is. Sixty days in. Like that's there you yeah, go. Right. yeah, nah, yeah, nah. We un- I understand. But I, apparently, he's back in jail, and they increase his bail because, of course, because of the outrage. Yeah, but that goes to show if we that, do it the right way, how the community it. unifies, Thank you, how we can bro. get stuff done. So. That, listen to that, bro, and that's what I hate, bro. Yep. Like they go and do this shit. Oh, we made a mistake. What well, had nah, that been a black exactly. dude shot a white kid in the arm? A million and, and swung with him with a sludge hammer. Million. There would have been no bond. Yeah, you no. damn near would have been about to get the chair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they yeah. don't even do the chair no more. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, it's, like this, yep. and then they want people to act civilized and shit. It's like, like nah, yeah, this is why, bro. Nah, and then bro. they did the man. <laughs> he already thinking about the sixty days. He ain't rapping to him. We know why he watched that. <laughs> so. bullshit. No, I'm thinking about the whole the the bill uh, that Joe Biden passed and stuff like that. And oh still, yeah, exactly. It was still no, that's like a hate crime. Like mm-hmm. you, you swung a slit. You tried to kill yeah. this child mm-hmm. over a bike being in your yard. But kids are bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit up here and act like kids ain't no badasses. Yeah. But if I got a problem with a child, I'm, I'm not finna go parent. swing. I'm gonna go to the parent. Like yo, mm-hmm. get little Ray Ray. Before I get my, my belt, belt. Yeah. what I'm gonna bring out there now, nah, you gonna catch me for whooping his ass with exactly, another belt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. And it's fun. That's a funny story because my dad actually did that one time, almost with some kids. <laughs> that sounds about right. But yo, yeah, I know I ain't right. your daddy, but guess what, dog? Yeah, right. That's exactly. But Take that's come here. If anything. That's what you're gonna catch me doing. Mm-hmm. So that way you don't have to go and experience this with a name. Because I do that because I care. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. I know you acting out because. You just don't know better. But I'm doing that because I care about you. This next yep. man, clearly, Did don't give a damn get. about him. And he want, he didn't see his life as nothing. He bro, shot him, a bro. Sled, a sledgehammer and then the gun. That well, You was no trying sense. to kill him, bro. Yeah, exactly, right. bro. Like, that's, that's the shit no, I'm that, talking about the, right there. The dude yeah. deserved a long sentence in jail. Fuck that guy. Um, yeah. that's, that's pretty much my stance on it. And, it, and I'm not even going to even put it into race. It doesn't matter anybody's child. Doesn't matter anybody, what race. Man. That's anybody. that's just dumb. Yep. That's really dumb and, and unnecessary to the point where yeah, he deserved to be in jail. And I'm glad that people had enough. You know, you know, had enough outrage about. Like, hey, bro, what y'all doing? All right, let's. Hey, come back. I right. know you paid us ten thousand. Come back. The judge who let that shit happen needs to go. Idiot. Yeah. And, 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 and mm-hmm. some somebody needs to have a conversation with them because yeah, clearly bro. they don't need to be in the seat. Nah, Real, facts. Not at all. Exactly. Facts, bro. Like that. That shit is is not what's up, bro. When I like, tell you, to you, boy, it's it's a lot of crazy stuff. But you know what? That's why I don't. Even, I, I don't even watch the news all the time. Cause mm-hmm. I, 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 I feel like know. I just sit there and get pissed off. Exactly. Nah, I saw this on Instagram. I don't Instagram watch social media much either. I see most of the stuff because uh, Kess Thanks. parents watches news. So my dad like walk in and yeah. see them watching news or something. My dad watched four, five, six. And oh, my mm-hmm. mom, my mom be like. We didn't already watch the same. They telling the same story now that they did then. Like, why are y'all still watching? And then it's yeah. just sad stuff half the time. It Ooh, is, I'm not bro. I'm sit here with this mood. Like, I, I want like, to. I caught, I caught a glimpse of the news the other day, and I just. Yep. Bro, uh, a, a, a mom, I think, was taking her child to school, and it was the baby in the back seat that got shot by a stray bullet. Yep. Yeah. And mm-hmm. the bullet caught the baby in the back, uh, I think, of the back of the head. And she said the last word she heard was uh, "mommy something hurt" or something like that, and it's a damn he, he shame, passed away man. in the car seat. And I was just like, I was like, "Yo, tell me this ain't real." And I think if it's the same story, they caught the two people. I guess that was shooting. Mm. Um, but I was just like, "Yo, I just couldn't imagine." And I was just like, "Man, I gotta cut this off," you know? Because yeah, that that story ain't for me. Ooh. You wake up in the morning, very depressing, man. You wake up in the morning seeing stuff like that. You you mm-hmm. evening time you see that, and then nighttime you go to sleep on that, and yeah. it's like Ooh. all day Ooh, you hear, and that's why it makes people paranoid mm-hmm. for going outside. It makes people paranoid and make them defensive. Yeah, mm-hmm. as definitely. soon as you do or say anything or yell, they fear because they. They hearing this twenty four seven, so um, it's it's a you know blessing and a curse at the same time. But right, yeah, you know. and uh, well, 
it's, it's kind of a, a bad segue. Unfortunately, uh, um, since we are talking about uh, a recent passing, uh, Lil Dirk's brother, uh, D thing, DT thing, that's what he goes by, but his real name is yeah, uh, Dante <laughs> Banks Jr. Uh, he was recently murdered, uh, shot, shot to death outside of a, a strip club. Damn. And uh, the it's reason why I'm bringing this up, rest in peace to him. The reason rest why I'm, to I'm bringing yeah, this right. up, um, I don't know if you guys know, recently uh, Pooh Shiesty, the rapper, he got charged with shooting a gun, I believe, yeah, in I a club, that. and mm-hmm. I believe someone got injured. Or whatnot. Suppose the security guard got hit. Oh, security guard got, got hit. Damn. So I'm bringing this up because what are you doing in the club? these are, like, you know what I'm saying, the rappers that we listen to, and they promote the violence that we see. You know what I'm saying? And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, people are like, oh, how could this happen? This is so messed up. But yet you you still, you know, you're rapping the lyrics of them talking about smoking on a Tuka pack, which is Tuka was an actual real person that really died. And their mother and their family have to hear this song and people rapping about it, not even either understanding or they understand it. They yeah. just don't care because it's a catchy lyric, exactly. and I'm not justifying what happened to Lil Durk's uh, uh, brother. I'm not justifying any type of death or any situation. But when you got, when you promote this type of stuff, that's the lifestyle that come with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's one of those things where even with the Pooh Shiesty situation, you know, the popular song, I ain't got no security in the club. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The popular song is about a rival gang. True, mm-hmm. and that too, like all this. All this other stuff that's, that's happening crazy. is exactly. like at some point is like we can't we can't just be shocked. Yeah. Like I mean, we can, but it's like for what? Because I'm at like, the end of the day, wrong. some the stuff jam. Yeah, yeah. it, it jam yeah, crazy. Yeah, but but at the same time, it's, it's actually it's, real. When you think about it, See, yeah. we're talking about real life stuff. And that's my thing. Songs. At, at one dangerous. point, do, should people realize that this is becoming too real? Like. Okay, we get it. The whole, you know, there's studio gangsters, this and that, so and so. Some of them, Not some of them, some of them, yeah. But but then you have like the ones, and this is uh, what this one guy told me. Um, I watch him on YouTube, would not Corsino for life. He's like, when even if you you live that past, you got this position to be one of the best rappers in the game and stuff. You got to ask yourself, okay, I got to quit this gangster mentality now because I've done it in the past. Don't bring that when it comes to the industry, like business. You can't mix that. Cause I'm seeing it a lot nowadays. Even like NBA Young Boy and stuff. All them mm-hmm. rappers they jam, but I'm like, it it's like they them their entourage. They can't still, stay out of trouble. They really can't it stay out of trouble because they can't separate that. Kodak, exactly, Young Boy, mm-hmm. all of these dudes. They they're still yeah. doing the same stuff mm-hmm. they were doing yep. before. And, and yes, the feds are watching, folks. Yep, the feds are they watching. Are watching. Bro. So. I've seen the NBA young boy. They said they've been investigating him for like years mm-hmm. since he's been in. Yeah. Yep. Over his criminal past. Like, and what's stuff. that boy? Uh, TK. TK. Like, dude yep. literally got in the game, arrested. Mm-hmm. Yep. Doing uh, something stupid. What's the other? He one? He had the biggest song that year. Yeah. Like the other dude. Uh, While running from the police, which he really was yeah, doing. Yeah. Yeah. He was actually he was he was uh, the doing the race. My mind guy. Uh, oh, uh, 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 uh Wyatt Melly, 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 whatever. Yeah. Uh, him yeah. too. Yeah, Even like, if he didn't, his entourage had something to do. He was affiliated, and now exactly he most likely he could take go down for that. Like, like y'all about to make it, man. Yeah, make exactly, it, let bro. it go. Let I don't it get go. it, bro. Yeah, they don't, and like, the reason, they don't want to, but they like I'm too real for that. No, yeah. man, no. look, bro. <laughs> billions of people are trying to make it in the rap game now, which See, that's, is, that's the, a whole other topic. Ridiculous. That's the trap, man. Yeah. So the people that do yeah, exactly it, it really is the people that are actually making it. You would think, okay, don't take it for granted, like. But See, it's hard. Know, yeah, it's, it, it's hard. When exactly. you come from that, and you come, then you come to this, and you came mm-hmm. up from rapping that way, yeah. you have to try to keep your credibility. Exactly. So now yeah. you're like, I gotta show them that I'm real by doing true. something mm-hmm. stupid. Now you do something stupid. Yeah. Now you arrested. Now we keep doing the same dumb shit over yeah. and over and over and over. And all it, all it is is proving shit to other niggas. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't gotta yeah. prove shit to you. I don't mm-hmm. have you can call me fake. You can say I ain't real. You can I'll say like, what you want bank to. account is nice. My family exactly. good. I don't, I don't just, give a damn. Really what you s- look yeah. look at this inju- industry as longevity. Like That's nah, why bro. look at the rappers that are making it, that are really making it. Been in the game maybe 10 plus years because they stayed out of trouble. People you like what, what, Lil Baby, Meek Mill, these yeah, people exactly. are actually You already to, know. Exactly. The yeah. thing about them is they're they're trying to adapt. That's exactly. Mm-hmm. I like what uh, Lil Baby said. He was like, the reason why he never got tattoos, I'm like, Okay, I agree with what he's saying, you know, because he really says at one point I really got to separate myself from that. 
because mm-hmm. you know, like you say, you can't really mix that gangster shit with the business side of the industry. Yep. You Trust can't. Me, the and industry you, will eat but, you up. And we and we just what is it, bro? How how do we fix it? Like, it's, does it ever get fixed? Because no. when be when, you, when it, we it don't it's we, we march we march and stuff when a white cop kills a black dude, but yeah. we don't march when our own. It's taking our own when we are it's like, the at one point minority. We, yeah, we were, but it's like now it just keeps dim, we, dumbing what down. Happen, what happened? What's happening is like, we have to make positivity in the black community popular. Mm-hmm, yeah. That's what we have to do. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna say it won't, it can't happen. Mm-hmm. Right, I believe anything is possible at the end of yeah. the day. But I think with us, we're in such a cycle right now. It's tougher to just you can't just it, it's it's one of them things that's gonna take years and years. And yeah, years. like uh, who said it? Eddie Griffin. I want to say. Was talking about it. He was talking about how he, Eddie, people, Eddie, is was, it either, stupid. It was either Eddie Griffin or he it real was uh, who was that? I can't remember who it was, but he was talking about how this ain't this ain't some overnight thing. It's like oh, racism's gone, boom, like that type yeah, of thing. Or black people are not killing each other, boom, right. like it, it's right. not something like that. It's one of those things where it's gonna take a lot of time because we have to revert our mm-hmm. minds into. This black love, black excellence. We Definitely, have to make yeah. everybody be like that. That's and why you know I'm really what? loving the movement. And like people can have their own opinion about certain like, oh, black this, black that, black that. I'm like, no, nah, I'm actually loving that because it's another black love or black, you know, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? But it's nowhere near compared to other type of races like I don't even want to say it. Like, oh, because people will mix, oh, I'm black and I'm proud, or black love has nothing to do with hatred. It's, no. It has it's it has everything to do with self love, unity, mm-hmm. unity, exactly. Like, let me uplift my, you know, myself. Empowering because not girls. it's not that other people, you know, hate us. We also have a lot of self hate in us. So that's what it's from. It has nothing to do with no type of oh, it's it's uh, it's radical. It's this and that. You know, a lot of other bullshit people claim it is. It's nothing like that. Because as you can see, true. there's still a huge problem in the black community. Mm-hmm. Black so, people, black people, pretty much envy each other we exactly grow, we, for yeah. no reason. We grow up roasting each other. Like, yeah. think about yes, it. Yes, that's the we, thing. We grow up doing it. And, like, some people, you know, and they we adapt all broke. to it. Some people adapt. <laughs> yep. Huh? I'm saying we all broke. Yeah. <laughs> some people adapt to it, right? Mm-hmm. And then some people take that, you know, they, they take that, like, for years mentally, mm-hmm. and it messes mm-hmm. with them. And that's why, exactly. you know, we got all these black people with mental <clears throat> problems, and they're actually, mm-hmm. they don't know how to emotionally uh, yeah. deal with certain things. They don't know how to emotionally Bruh. deal with it. Man, it's... Mm-hmm. We 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 are in a, a yeah. crazy hole that we were trying to dig out of. I it's never got the whole light skin dark skin thing. I really didn't. I know now, you know, That's of course always we joke about it, me. but it's really it's a huge issue. So and I'm like, I never understood. I'm like, you are still black. I don't get it. I'll I'll joke and joke about it every now and then, yeah, but it's not joking. something I'm about to just be like. But there's some yeah, people like I don't oh, like I don't, you because you light skin. Yeah, like, I'm I don't not about to myself because like, you either dark skin or you too light skin. I'm like, bro, the thing with black people, bro, you can be every shade. It's cool. You're still beautiful, and I'm like, I don't get it. Is it men? Or I don't know. I, I've I seen like it on women both sides. Like, you I've seen. It on both I've really sides. seen both sides, honestly. Like, you don't see sides. that on I both sides. I see it on both sides. I've seen. I don't. don't I see never see understood that, bro. Like, oh, I don't do the. I've seen some yellow bones. Or. Bro, that's but shit. you can't just put it on one though. I that's, can't put it on one sex at all. Oh yeah. Here's what's crazy. I grew up. Yeah. It's the same as um. What was that? I was watching. It was what is the effect called? It's a it's a light skin complex. Uh, Ryan Davis brought it up in his uh thing when he was talking about the uh queen of the of the princess, the black princess lady. I mm-hmm. can't even think. Megan, the princess. Megan oh, Markle. Oh, yeah. 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 He was talking about her and how she never claimed black people like that until. She started trying to become a princess. Yeah, and he brought up some some great points, and I was oh, like, yeah. "You you're making great points." And he was like, "Like think about it. Look at her. Does she does she like when most people look at her, they immediately be like black? Yeah, they don't. I didn't know she was black. They until don't. She because somebody she, said she was bo- like, because right? before that she wasn't really associating herself with yeah. people like that. And then he's like, one of the few people that you see her associate herself with is Serena Williams. And you want to know how she got that? He was like, you want to know how? <laughs> She's about to be a princess now. She has a $14.6 million mansion now. Yeah. So now she can afford that stuff and then use this as her marketing tool to blah, blah, blah. And I was mm-hmm. like, yep. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. It's crazy. 
it's, and, it's and, and they'll similar. use that light skin complexion and then it'll turn into some self hate situation. It makes mm-hmm. no sense, and bro. It's, it's, it's been ridiculous. going like that for gen- like how they used to do back in the day, like when we were slaves. Yeah, yeah. you had the light skin guy too. doing what? Being the house. Mm-hmm. You had the dark skin one doing what? Out in the field. field yeah. yeah, that's how. It, that's how it that's is. How it's, they been a, separated it's been a mentality us. thing since we before we were even free. You no, know what? It's not. it's breaking the mental chains of slavery because yeah. we slavery who asked this i think ross asked this what was worse being in slavery or the effects that slavery had afterwards mm-hmm. and yeah, then the i was like is really we compared it to the ass whooping we was like oh, i'll take the ass whooping but don't don't punish me off the game for a week mm-hmm. it's because yeah. you know that ass whooping is gonna be over with and slavery itself is bad, but what it's doing, what it did to now, to yeah. now, like, with the whole Willie Lynch, you know, like, yeah. and what that did, like, if you have the chance, go go look at it. They even got um, videos on it and stuff like that. Like, the whole breakdown, how to break mm-hmm. down, like, the black household and the family. Mm-hmm. You'll Separate look at that and you'll man. be like, ah. But when you really honestly yeah. look at it now, Look at what happened. Look what's going on with the men. Look what happened exactly. with the black men. Yep. Uh, look how they demasculinize us. Look how now the whole thing is they're they're making the beef between black women and black men strong as shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you can feel it every time there's a, 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 a certain song or something. Now it's about who rapping better. The, oh, the women rapping better than the men. It's like y'all it playing no into sense, that man. shit. Why we can't just say Women are making good music. I'm glad that they're getting the recognition that they deserve. Why we got to compare to who's being more gangster than who? And I'm just like, yo, Mm -hmm. like, when we look at it, bro, it's we're beefing with each other so much. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, if you just realize, yo, if we just calm down and come together, realize that we both got bullshit on each side and come to a compromise of how to coexist, we can actually fuck up the mindset of the people that's enslaving us mentally. Yep. They're like, yo, I can't get them on that. Oh, what the fuck? They starting businesses together. They, yep. they, Black oh, Wall damn, Street. y'all didn't, mm-hmm. y'all didn't got, exactly. y'all didn't got your own hair salon. Y'all, y'all didn't got your, y'all don't need it. What's going to happen? Yep. We're going to dominate this fucking earth. We but already you know the what? entertainment. We were just talking about that. What, what podcast oh, yeah. was that? The last one? We already yep. the entertainment. Yep. <laughs> We'll dominate. I mean, it is not about saying any race is superior than the next. Exactly. It's just mm-hmm. the fact that we've been kind of down so long. We just want to be at a certain height now, bro, when it comes to just We civilized. just want to feel apart right. and important. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's, it, it hard, it's hard to do that when we out here hurting each other. True. And that's that's the counter to it. Like We also, uh, yeah, and it's true, but we also still just acknowledge the ones that are, that are not. Mm-hmm. Which is hard nah, too. I understand because I look on you know on Instagram and I see okay you got a hood motherfucker still on their bullshit. Mm-hmm. Okay, sad. Twenty twenty one. We were just marching last year. Yeah. It seems like it's just like you know I'm we're just tired of it. Like yeah, you know I'm just ready for There's you know a lot us of us to tired be. of it. And yeah. we, what happens is we get bunched into a group of and generalized as this is the black people. Yeah, mm-hmm. with Which a bull, with a negative thing. The other side they're gonna negative say oh we're, we're we're not all like that. Okay, so are we. But yeah, y'all acting like we are. So what the hell? Bing. You know. Bingo. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> don't play that card if, you know, we can't, you know, we can't play it as well. We you know? we got to, well, black people got to start doing, because we're all black, mm-hmm. and this is a black people's problem, and only black people going to fix it. Mm-hmm. We got to call each other out on our own bullshit. Big yeah. facts. Mm-hmm. We got to start um, calling out the people that's actually doing shit, start mm-hmm. laughing at it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Let's call huge, it out. Right. That's, some, that's some big, that's some bullshit you're doing there. Now, now if that nigga go and retaliate, or go shoot at you, or go kill you next week. Now we all gonna be looking dumbfounded because, well, oh, you fucked with him, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be like, well, bro, you like mentally, you don't even know what dude was at. Mm-hmm. And if we call you on your shit, we don't even know how many lies we could save if we call people out on their shit. Oh, Sometimes yeah. people just looking for somebody to be like, yo, did, did somebody see this nigga, just some crazy shit. Like, man, I saw you. That nigga was on some bullshit. Sometimes that'll actually help somebody versus. Ah, nobody would. Uh, it it really make you rage one, more. One yep. every time. It, one. It just take one. One person to be like, yeah, that was some bullshit that you did, homie. You should apologize. Because then should. you'll find somebody else in the background like, yeah, that it really is. Yeah, mm-hmm. low key. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> like low, low key, key yeah. Yeah. Like low key, yeah. But I mean, that's just the thing. We gotta learn how to call each other out on uh, one another's bullshit. Support one another. Facts. Stop half ass supporting. Um, yep. Stop feeding into all these other corporations who really don't give a damn about you. Mm-hmm. Um, we gotta, sure. we gotta start <clears throat> backing our own, backing one another. Facts. Um, we gotta start being okay with spreading knowledge on certain things. There's some black people Definitely. that know how to do certain things, yep. but they want to kind of hold, hold it to it themselves. Um, we got to start Shadow being well. able to get along. Um, we got to stop. Oh, my God. We got to stop saying your ass is out of my house when you turn 18. Bro, oh, that's a very yeah, toxic. Yeah, man. That, uh, that's yeah. a toxic mentality. That's a whole podcast in itself. Self, yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Facts. That is. That's definitely is. That, that's, But that. for future yeah. references, I mean, these are just some of the things that I feel like as a as a people we can yeah. work on and tweak to become better. Where it's not gonna happen overnight, like y'all said, but it's mm-hmm. like it's something that we we gotta hope for the best for one day because we gotta instill that now for the children. Right. Hey, uh, right. I've been looking up something while y'all was talking uh, about you know what I'm saying the effects of slavery and stuff like that before we ended off. So apparently, this this was released uh, today. Slavery reparation bill passes in uh, NY, NYS yeah, assembly, that. and um, okay. apparently, um, they're trying to get it. Uh, the New York uh, New York State Assembly Wednesday voted to pass a slavery uh, reparation bill. The bill is spearheaded by assembly um, assemblyman Charles B- Barron. Going to skip through this, mm-hmm. but to the good part. Well, supposedly, hopefully the good part. The organizations are also calling for President Joe Biden to issue an executive order of 50, 50 billion down payment on reparations. They say money will go towards health care reform in the black communities. I hope this does get passed. I hope right. this gets passed, not in just one state, but in multiple states. Because mm-hmm. boys don't want to talk about that. But, yeah. you know, technically, not even. It's, it's, it's actually no, a fact. It's actually a fact. I'm right. My grandmother grew up on a slave plantation. Mm -hmm. My great-grandmother was a slave. Mm -hmm. I'm only a few generations removed from slavery. So it's it's one of those type of things where if if we're all talking about equality for Mm -hmm. everyone, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't be opposed to that or at least doing something to help out the black communities so we can kind of fix these situations yeah. where we see all these people or our youth killing each other and exactly, talking man. about it on social media like it's no big thing because what they have in their communities is it's, nothing, it's nothing pretty man. much guns, so, and, drugs. guns exactly. and drugs that's all they have in can their we, communities can we be that's honest? all they know so before i have to say this mm-hmm. personally and i might get killed for this i don't want money for us you don't want money for our community or go no, straight, okay, to no, per, per, straight to us. Straight to us. Oh no, no, that's what, what I, I said. What, what I want, what yeah. I want, bro, is community shit. Yeah. I want schools. Yeah. yeah. I want certain things. I agree. For that, education. No, yeah. yeah. I want land. Yeah. Yeah. I want. I want tangible things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And things that's gonna help better. You want us. assets, man. Not yeah. Assets. Yeah. yeah. No, because that's because, generation. because if you yeah. give us money, it's gonna make it worse. Yeah. It's gonna make it worse. Look. Stimulus, you know, niggas. Some PPP dude, loans. It was a dude. It was a dude that killed. Not the PPP. A, it was a dude that was trying to get some money from his baby moms because she got money oh, for the exactly. stimulus, and yeah. he went and killed her because yeah. she wasn't family, giving no right. money, and whoever else was in the house. Yeah, nah, bro, nah. That was this crazy. goes to the community. That's the whole. Purpose That's of why this. we yeah. we we not ready for no shit like nah, that. Not we like gonna be that, in Gucci. Yeah. We gonna be buying. Up. All we gonna do is put the money. That's why they like it. They and love yeah, giving us hey, money. It's all about the chess game. And I feel like that, that's chess. Possibly bro. that's what it is too. Cause they, I mean, in, hell, income tax every year and like the stimulus. They know what they're doing. Where does all that, that money, money go? Real, you know, it just bam. They just right back they to Uncle Sam. Double, double, quadruple, whatever profit it off us. Like, cause they knew what was gonna happen. Like, they niggas, them niggas so, get the money right the fuck back. Yeah. But I, I agree with that. Yeah, give us land. You know, give us you know land, uh, uh, community, yeah, community, like, better community centers, bro. community mm-hmm. policing, better police yeah, officers, exactly. stuff like give that. Give us, give us uh, better um, schools and, yeah. and teachers that's gonna pay the teachers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pay the use teachers. that yeah, money to pay, pay the moment. teachers pay in our neighborhoods. Man, them teachers, they should all be all, making man. six figures and above. Facts, nothing yeah. less than six figures. Yep. And mm-hmm. these should be people that actually give a damn. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? And then teach these kids trades, yep. build trade yeah, schools, trades, man. trade com- like trade centers. That's so even you if you're it. strung out, you can find a way yeah. to get back on path. Like let's let's come on, bro. That's mm-hmm. what we need because if you give a nigga some money, bro, what he gonna do with it? Spend it exactly, man. Or rob somebody else That's for facts. it. Or buy a twenty thousand dollar chain. 
Yes. Damn, we didn't talk about that. <laughs> shout out, well, no, shout yeah. out, no, shout well, out. I went in thirty k lottery. Guy. Go ahead, like, boy, won a thirty k. I'm shout out to that guy. He he oh he is he pisses me off. Bro. He's a yeah. great fellow. He's a smart guy. Yeah. Wins a lottery at thirty k. Spends twenty k on the chain. Then gets that said twenty thousand dollar chain. So listen, listen to what I listen to what we just said. Talked about. Twenty thousand dollar chain. Folks, if you rewind, maybe uh five minutes past, you know, I mean, uh at, before this. Bye bye. Well, that's the reparation that money. Yeah, that's your money right there. Yeah, exactly. Somebody <laughs> stole it. That's more money. Stole it. Now he, you want to kill him? That's more money than he probably money. ever had it, at exactly. once. And you decided not go buy no no car probably yep. or or Invest, put down save. on a house and save. Yep. Uh, you went and bought a chain to flex. You bought two thirds. Exactly. You used two thirds of your money, money just for a chain. Yep. That got robbed. Not off trying me. to judge the man, but when they interviewed him, it looked like his life was hell prior to winning thirty k. I'm sorry. <laughs> so why would that be your first thing you want to do? I'm about ice style chain. I know I live in this, you know. Poor, you know, raggedy community. Damn, so like, I said, I want, I want, I want, I want to be sitting. See, I'm like, see, bro. sometimes people need to be roasted. Yeah, he needs. Sometimes you deserve it. Damn That's right. a roastable moment. Yeah, you, I'm did, sorry. you did this to yourself, homie. Yep. Like this is a roastable <laughs> moment. Like mm-hmm. you deserve all of that because it's like, yo, you could have probably really set yourself up on a on a way here, and then you spend he set all, a majority up. of that he got set up. And then what happened now? You got robbed. That shit gone, man. Looking stupid. Somebody probably gonna try to uh make, well it was twenty k maybe maybe ten they probably get ten k maybe less than that you they know, don't the care it's free profit off free money yeah, yeah bro. free money you got yeah. his neck so, juice all on the chain bro yeah. like no, it's, it's like, already lost its value <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just like bro <laughs> man, it's hey ridiculous. we just want our black brothers Niggas and sisters lost. to do better yeah exactly That's it. and also it was caught on tape. That's what we but should yeah. call this episode do better do better we gotta do better do better bro there we go. Hey man, look, <laughs> that was episode forty-eight. Yeah, that was for one for the facts. books. Yeah, it was yeah, very yeah. knowledgeable. It yeah. was really mm-hmm. very uh, informative of how mm-hmm. we should start doing as our own. Right. Uh, we can't keep pointing our fingers at the other races and stuff. We got to yeah. look at ourselves so and figure exactly. out how to make a change. We could tell them to shut the hell up, but we can also at the same time tell our brothers and sisters, finger, hey, brother and do sister, hey, y'all, hey, y'all better shut the, shut the hell up too and get it right. So yeah, get it right, man. <laughs> it's time do to better. level up. Uh, exactly, elevate in all kind of ways. So we appreciate yep. y'all again, man. Hope you enjoyed the podcast, man. Make sure you share it everywhere. Please. It's yep. everywhere where you can listen to it, where podcasts are available, I believe. Yep. Uh, Is it on title? It's just oh, it's a good question. Put it on title. That's a good question. Title. So title, hit us up. We we know some people into no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, New York yeah. you know? But now, nah, um but yeah, nah, just just support, man. We love y'all. Stay safe out there. I just see podcast episode forty eight. We out. Hey. Peace. Peace.